Welcome back, I'm doing another review. This is the Rode Wireless Go 2. I recently bought it. I bought it, uh, well it's supposed to be second hand, I got it from CEX, which if you're in England, it's a company that sells used equipment, all sorts really. Uh, and you get a two year warranty, you know, with it, so it's pretty good. Now, what you get in the box, well I didn't actually get it in the box, but, uh, you get uh, two of these, uh, I'll just show you, I've got the camera above there. You get two of these uh, which is put on your body to speak into and you get one which you fit to your um, camera or, or you can put it to your phone. Uh, now what I like about these is that both of them, they, as soon as you switch them on they record up to seven hours separate recording broadcast quality so if you forget to switch this on or you go too far away it records everything onto there you plug it into your laptop it's quite easy to uh, get your uh, voice off it's you know very easy now recently they've done an update which made it even easier to get different clips off. It used to be all one, but now it's quite easy. And what I like is when I tried it out, I went on a walk and I deliberately went too far. And uh, obviously I lost my voice. It's not so bad if you're facing it, you could be real distance, but it's, when it's you're at the back, it's not long in the sight, that's when it breaks up. So when I put it onto, it's called Road Central, I think the the app. Um, basically, where the missing bit is, it's in red, so you can find it quite easy. And also, when I go out for a walk, sometimes I take the. I usually use two cameras. Uh, if I've got this on the GoPro and the Sony, sometimes I put a wired mic on, but sometimes you get all tangled up. So I'll use the, try and use the Sony built-in mic, but if it's windy and it's no good, I can just take the recording off this little thing. Now on here, I do have my own little design. I'm not going fishing, but that's a fishing line, uh, which I have this round my neck. I put this on for the simple reason that I'm walking over the fields and lots of times this has fell off me uh, top and maybe if you was in a sort of normal environment somewhere where you're not wandering around if it dropped you could have a look for it but it's too much money to lose and it has the other one has fell off loads of times and this has actually fell off a couple of times already if i hadn't got my safety device on then i'd be a bit upset so now uh, this is my third attempt to doing this video because I had phone calls and interruptions and stuff but I've got top tip if you're doing a little video turn your phone off so it is off hopefully and my watch so it should be okay. Now uh, audio is a real important uh, part of the video because wind noise apart from when I have sprouts that's another story. Um, you know, it's uh, it can be it can put people off. You can have a great filming with the winds and different noise crackling and stuff. It will put people off. Mine isn't always perfect, but I try and you know get the best I can. I don't like to spend too much time editing. That's why I try and get the better software and equipment that helps me out. So. Um, yeah, it's very similar. I've got the road, the go, the original one, but you only get one of those things you put here to the receiver, um, but uh, you can't record on it. And like I say, with this one, I've got it connected up to me selfie stick, so I can use it as a little microphone. You can buy a proper road looks like a fake mic you can put it into, but this does the same job. Now the the original road go these wind muffs they just fell straight off i used to have sticky stuff elastic band on the other one stop them falling off but these ones they push on and turn and uh so far i had no trouble but when i got this so it's supposed to be used but everything was as new 
uh, it came with a spare one of these, so three of these little covers, uh, the plastic still on the uh, front of the mortar, it's still on now, and the actual cables, they were all still taped up, um, and the software, I think it had got the original version on it, you know, so I don't, as I personally, I don't think it had ever been used, so I'm really pleased with it. Um, yeah, so uh, it works well on the GoPro, uh, and uh, you know, I'm so very, very happy with uh, with it. So let's so say you get two of these. I'm just gonna show you up there. Well, so that's the one that goes on your phone uh, or your camera. You have to get a different lead if you plug it into your phone, and you get two of these which you plug on. Uh, you can also plug a lapel uh, mic into this if you want to have it in your pocket and just have a little microphone there. What I am going to do is if I do go out and it's raining with the GoPro I can have this tucked away in the dry pretty well and then I'll take the um, media mod off the GoPro because the GoPro is waterproof uh, and I'll, I can film obviously keeping eye on the, it's a bit worse than the water goes on the lens when it's raining but I can still do some filming and hopefully it'll all be recorded on this so that should save the day. So that's it I think, I thought I'd do you a little uh, quick review on it, uh, well happy, uh, the batteries they seem to last about 7 hours on these which is more than enough you know for what I want they're easy to charge up so uh, anyway I think I'm going to end this little review now thanks for joining me and uh, stay safe I know I try to but I end up getting the Covid I say I'm isolated at the moment but I'm alright so uh, thanks for joining me folks Big thumbs up to everyone and say as usual don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on another video. Hopefully I'll be I'll be eating again out and about soon. Bye for now folks. Bye.